Hey, what's up guys? My name is Joey Zombies, and today I want to talk about a game with a very long title and a very short completion time. That game is of course Dr. Langeskov, the Tiger, and the Terribly Cursed Emerald. The game is free and lasts about 20 minutes, so you really have no reason not to play it. There's plenty of let's plays of it already, so instead I want to have a discussion. So I assume you've already played it and are wondering, what did I just play? This is a game by one of the designers of the Stanley Parable, and is the first game by a new studio named Crows Crows Crows. This little freebie seems to be something of a sampler for the kinds of experiences that this studio wants to make, and it's really just to get their name out there. And I think they succeed, it's a very interesting little game. And the funny thing is, after it ended, I was super bummed that you didn't actually get to see the heist, and I kind of think that's what they were going for. They want you to be excited about the next game they create, and I definitely am. For such a short game, there's so much going on. The basics you probably got, but I'll recap before diving any deeper. Uh, you are a player in a fictional world where video games are treated like live action productions. You show up to play and are informed that someone else is playing the game, and you must help the narrator pull off the production from behind the scenes because everyone on the set has gone on strike due to their jobs being ridiculously dangerous. And immediately when the game started, I was thinking to myself, this reminds me an awful lot of that trivia game back in the 90s called You Don't Know Jack. Just kind of the zany humor of it, and hearing production set voices getting it all ready for you through mics. And then one of the first notes I picked up said the same thing. It was like a feedback form about the game, and it said, this reminds me of You Don't Know Jack. I like the 90s vibe. And I was like, what? That blew my mind. So immediately you can tell this game is very self-aware, and it shares that kind of wacky humor and just ridiculous kind of fourth wall breaking concept of playing a game that's a live production. And definitely read the notes and listen to the tapes, you won't regret it. Uh, how you listen to the tapes is you grab the cassette player on the table in the first room and then you can listen to them all as you go through. You miss like half the game by not listening to them. And that's another thing. This game seems to play with the idea of your actions affecting the dialogue in unique ways and when you choose to do certain actions and in what order. So feel free to have fun with that and you might catch something you missed earlier. So what's going on beneath the surface of this game? Well in my opinion, I think they're poking fun at a lot of things simultaneously. The obvious one being that there are so many ridiculous, mundane, meaningless tasks you have to go through to make sure a job runs smoothly. And this more directly applies to making games, but I think it can be extended to all jobs. Uh, you know that stupid bullshit you have to go through, like pressing buttons and following instructions just to find out something doesn't work the way you had planned, so you have to do even more obtuse things just to kind of end up making it worse. Uh, well, that's how my jobs go anyway, and it applies to something like programming perfectly. And uh, going back to those feedback forms, some of those were pretty interesting. There was one that just had the words, there is no hope, repeated over and over, and another one that just showed like ridiculously high expectations for the game. Uh, these were kind of to show what designers go through in getting feedback and kind of cheekily poking fun at the types of people that do, and I like that. And the tapes also show how sad it is when people don't like an idea that you have pitched or you get a project started and it falls through because of financing issues because these are some real problems that are rampant in the gaming industry and the game like lightly addresses them in hilarious fashion. I so hope those tapes become actual games by the way, like who doesn't want to play a game where a giant garden person named Willy is chasing a huge cucumber? I know I do. Uh, please just listen to the tapes. It's the dude from Rick and Morty and he's great in them. And uh, by the end of the game, you start to realize why all of the employees have gone on strike. One is that their lives are in danger, sure, but also because terrible things just keep on happening during the production. Uh, you can read this in some of the notes left behind by employees wh about why they quit, and it's just disaster after disaster. And I think that must be where the words terribly cursed emerald fit into the title. Uh, one thing I can't figure out is who Dr. Lengiskov is, and I might be missing something pretty obvious, but I'm not sure. And as for the ending, you totally feel betrayed. You are so excited to finally play the heist, then along comes the next player who just presses shit willy-nilly and releases the tiger. And he doesn't even turn on the light, so you can't see the tiger that's about to maul you to death. It really makes you feel like, you know, I put all that effort into putting on a good show for the last guy, then in comes this next player who totally fucks it up for me. It just shows you that you don't always get back what you put into something. Uh, you also don't always get the game you were expecting or a game that lives up to your expectations. 
this whole game is kind of an example of what players think goes on behind the scenes of a game, that it's all just like pushing levers and switches, but it isn't that. It's a lot of hard work and high concept miscellaneous interactions coming together to put on a good show for you. Uh, problems and bugs arise, but the show must go on and nothing can be perfect. I find that this game displays that process hilariously and beautifully, and I can't wait to see what this studio puts out next. Let me know what you think this game means in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching and stay gaming.